Hey, what's up everyone, Same Time Gaming here. Welcome back from the Division 2 Weekly Cassie Mendoza Reset. Well, guys, today she is located over here at the Southwest, right opposite to the Air and Space Museum. And if you guys want to know where I find my snitch, I found him right next to the Castle Salmon in the alleyway at this location. Now, if you guys are having trouble finding your snitch, uh, like I always say in my videos, there will be a video linked in the comment section. If you watch that, you will find your snitch every time. Now, let's take a look what she got for sale. So, the first named item we have here is the Mechanical Animal Assault Rifle, which is uh, uh, named Assault Rifle, obviously. It uh, comes with Future Perfection Talent. We have 5% of damage to armor, 20% of health damage, 10.7 Assault Rifle damage. It's pretty decent stats. You can change the damage to armor to damage target out of cover. And, uh, you know, you can use this weapon. It can be used on, like, situation, uh, in different situation. Like, for example, if you have a bunch of NPCs and you want to clear them quickly, then you can actually use this if you're using, a, like, a skill build, which already has, like, six skill tier. Then you can just kill one NPC with this weapon and overcharge yourself, uh, I mean, your skills, and uh, your skill will do, like, crazy damage. So you can clear them, um, uh, like, a bunch of NPCs in a room or something like that. That, that, that type... A situation this will be very helpful or you know you're running a hybrid build and uh, you want to get more skill tier on your build then you can use this weapon get some kills and increase your skill tier so yeah that that type that time this is going to be useful all right next we have the point man which is named Gilligard chess piece comes with perfect vanguard talent we have health here and repair skill 17.3 percent now this is not a great uh you know point man because it has a uh, repair skill and health However, if you're like starting out and you want to try it out at like a tank build and you want to use a shield to provide uh, armor to your group members, which obviously Vanguard does. Uh, so, yeah, you can you can buy this. I would say change the health to like uh, has a protection or even like, uh, you know, armor regen or headshot damage. You know, if you're using a pistol, so you can you can do that. Uh, next, we have the Shield Splinter Soul Rifle, comes with Perfect Optimist Talent. We have 8% of damage to target out of cover, 16.5 health damage, 12.8% of Soul Rifle damage. Now, this is a Hunter exclusive item. What I mean by that is there are Hunters in the game, which you have to find them, hunt them, and you're going to kill them. And then you will be able to see this weapon at Cassie Mendoza. Now, if you want to, uh, you know, find him and kill them, I would suggest watch some uh, guide videos on YouTube. There are a bunch of them. Just watch them, and you can do uh, do them. And it, it's not that hard. It's, it's not that hard. Our next we have the hunter killer chess piece comes with uh, perfect intimidate talent which is my favorite talent but it gets getting a slight nerf in the upcoming update uh, but it's all right though uh, okay next we have the 7.8% uh, explosive resistant on it and health i mean this is not really good or i mean it's not good it's it's pretty bad to be honest uh, because we have health and explosive resistant but hey if you still want to try it out if you haven't already like i said play your hunters because this is also a hunter exclusive so just watch some guide videos, clear your hunters, and uh, buy this from Cassie Mendoza and try it out and see how uh, the Perfect Intimidate talent works for you. Um, it's a pretty sweet talent, to be honest. Use it on an SMG, you know, because that way you will be able to change one of these attributes and add crit damage, because SMG has a lot of crit chance built into it, so you don't need much. So you can change the health, I would say, and add crit damage on it. Maybe a crit chance or crit damage mod to increase your uh, damage there as well. And try it out, you know, yeah, try it out. And next we have tip of the spear backpack with 11.8% of weapon damage, 6% of weapon handling. Uh, tip of the spear chest piece with 13.3, uh, sorry, 9% of uh, weapon damage and 6.1% of skill damage. Uh, then we have the striker's gloves with 11.3 weapon damage, 16.6 .6 repair skill. A rigor uh, knee pads with 8.8% uh, of status effect. Uh, Eclipse protocol holster with 10.7 skill haste. Eclipse protocol mask with 7.6% uh, of uh, skill damage. The MK16 assault rifle with spike talent with damage to armor 5% health damage of 16% and 11.7 assault rifle damage. Uh, if you want, you can try it out as well. You know, it's uh, it's not a bad assault rifle. The RPM is low though, but uh, I mean, if you pair it with Striker, this will be probably like 700 something RPM, which is which is really nice. Uh, next, we have the Black Market SESG 12S shotgun with pumped up talent with 11.5 magazine size, maxed out damage to armor and 5.6% of shotgun damage. Then we have another Gilligard chest piece with trauma talent. We have 4.6% uh, of crit chance, 8.8% has protection, and obviously we have armor. Next, we have golden gear knee pads with uh, obviously we've got armor. We have 7% uh, of uh, weapon handling, and we have health here. Then we have offensive system mod, which is 10.8% of crit damage, which is, you know, pretty decent. 10.8% is not that bad. And next, we have the trap charge mod, which is 4.5% of uh, duration. So that's it for weekly Cassie Mendoza, guys. She's going to sell all of these items for the rest of the week. She will change her location, though. And to find her again, you have to find the snitch. And like I said, if you're having trouble, just watch the video that I will link it in the description. I mean, uh, comment section. And then you can find your snitch every time. Uh, from here, I would say buy the point, man. If you're like trying to make a tank build or if you don't have a point, man. 
quick tip though uh if you're uh, you know doing the new york expansion uh if you're creating a new character or something like that i think the drag off mission uh gives you a guaranteed point man so don't do that mission before you hit level 40. yes if you hit level 40 and then do the drug of mission, even on like story mode or whatever it is you're doing, I mean, obviously it's story mode, I think, uh, you will get a pretty good uh, stat, you know, point, man. And you might end up getting the, the the attributes you're looking for. So yeah, you can you can do that. It's a guaranteed drop, obviously, because that's where uh, the, the boss drops you. So yeah, do that. So that's basically it for the video. Hope you guys will uh, find what you're looking for. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, peace.